Throughout the centuries, mankind has viewed the sun with awe and wonder. That turbulent fireball located 93 million miles from planet Earth. The sun provides light, heat, and supports growth of food, so vital to human existence. Unfortunately, many people fail to realize the potential dangers of unprotected or prolonged contact with sunlight. The sun releases ultraviolet radiation, which we call UV rays. These rays damage the skin and can produce a variety of problematic conditions and even disease. These are but a few examples of what UV radiation can do to the body. Sunburns are a nuisance and can create great discomfort. More importantly, sunburns set the stage for future skin cancer. Accelerated aging may occur in the form of wrinkling, blotches, and age spots. Cataracts can develop, damaging the lens of the eye, thus clouding or completely blocking vision. A weakened immune system may develop that performs less effectively to fight germs and repair injury. And finally, skin cancer. The most common cancer in the United States can afflict the largest organ of the body, the skin. UV rays cause 90% of skin cancer. With over 1 million new cases each year, skin cancer is now considered an epidemic. Sadly, one in five Americans is expected to get skin cancer in his or her lifetime. Skin cancer is yet another threat to the health and safety of outdoor workers who already contend with potential hazards like falling, back strain, injury from equipment, or even being struck by a car. Outdoor workers especially need to protect themselves from solar assault. We've asked Dr. Roy Grecken from the Department of Dermatology at the University of California, San Francisco to describe the major types of skin cancer. I've practiced as a dermatologist for over 16 years. Today I'm going to describe skin cancer and show some examples of how it's treated. There are three major forms of skin cancer. The first is basal cell carcinoma, or BCC, and it represents about 75% of all skin cancers. Here's some examples of what it looks like. An open sore that bleeds, oozes, or crusts, remaining open for three or more weeks. A reddish patch that may crust over and itch or hurt. A pink growth with a raised, rolled border, often indented in the center. A shiny, pearly appearing bump. Or a light colored, scar like area, often with very poorly defined borders. Squamous cell carcinoma, or SCC, represents about 20% of all skin cancers. SCC may appear as a persistent, scaly, red patch with irregular borders that may crust or bleed, an elevated growth with a central depression, a wart-like growth that crusts over, or an open sore that bleeds, crusts, and persists for weeks. Less than 1% of people who get BCC or SCC will actually die from skin cancer. But those that delay in receiving treatment may experience significant lifetime scarring or disfigurement. Now, the most dangerous skin cancer by far is malignant melanoma. Melanomas often emerge from or near a mole or other pigmented area of the skin. To remember the signs of melanoma, think of the letters A, B, C, and D. Now, A stands for asymmetric. The two halves of the growth do not have the same shape. B indicates an irregular border with jagged or rough edges. C stands for two or more colors often mixed in the same lesion, or any change in color. D means a diameter wider than a standard pencil eraser. If left untreated, melanoma can spread throughout the body and into the internal organs, eventually leading to a potentially painful death. Melanoma represents about 4% of all skin cancers. Luckily, all three types of skin cancer we've discussed today can be cured relatively easily, but only if they're treated in their earliest stages. Now here's some common ways skin cancers are treated. People who fail to protect themselves from the sun's rays may have to experience surgeries such as these. Individuals can develop skin cancer many times, requiring multiple surgical procedures. For some people, surgery on the skin may not be enough. Skin cancer, left untreated, can eventually invade internal organs like the brain, lung, and liver. 
Every year, thousands of people wait too long to receive treatment and die from skin cancer. There are various other ways to treat skin cancer, including radiation therapy, laser surgery, and drug therapy. What do outdoor workers say about sun safety and skin cancer? I don't like to get sunburn. It dries out my skin, leads to premature aging, and my father has had skin cancer. Uh, I've seen what it has done to him, and I would like to protect myself uh, from skin cancer. Hi, I'm Donna Thomas, and I've always enjoyed being in the out of doors. That's why I was thrilled to spend 14 and a half years of my life working on the out of doors. I spent some of that driving a truck, hauling electrical equipment. I also worked as a meter tech installing electric equipment. But I did pay a price for it. I had noticed a patch of dry skin on the back of my arm. Been there for a while, but I couldn't see it. So I ignored it until I got out of the shower one day and found blood running down my arm. I went to my dermatologist. She biopsied it and determined it was basal cell carcinoma. She cut out the cancerous growth. After that, I spent, I became a regular visitor to her office. Over a period of time, she would either cut or burn cancers or precancerous conditions from me. Now I'm much more careful. I apply my sunblock twice a day. I wear long sleeve shirts winter and summer. I always wear a hat or visor. People who get skin cancer often have a history of tanning and sunburns. Severe sunburns in childhood significantly increase a young person's future risk of skin cancer. Sunburns at any stage of life damage the skin and accelerate aging of the skin. Likewise, tan skin is actually an outward sign of internal skin damage. There is no safe UV-induced tan. Even tanning booths hurt the skin. These devices usually emit a type of UV radiation at higher levels than sunlight. Skin cancer can afflict any person, regardless of skin color, but certain personal characteristics increase an individual's skin cancer risk. Fair skin, blue, green, or hazel eyes, light colored hair, freckles, a tendency to burn rather than tan, a history of severe sunburns, having many moles, working outdoors, or a personal or family history of skin cancer. Skin cancer rates have been going up steadily for decades, while the melanoma rate more than doubled between 1973 and 1994. The best news is that skin cancer is highly preventable. Here's how. Reduce sun exposure from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. when feasible. Notice how UV concentrations are much higher during midday. Also note the overall UV intensity is elevated from spring through autumn. Wear a wide-brimmed hat with back flaps or a bandana and full-length clothing when the weather permits. Remember that people in many countries around the world customarily cover up when they're outside. Drink plenty of water to help stay cool. Seek shade in the middle of the day whenever possible. Try to take breaks in the shade. It's interesting how we are so careful to park our cars in the shade, yet we forget to protect ourselves. Apply sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or greater to expose skin at least 30 minutes before going outside. SPF stands for sun protection factor. The higher the SPF number, the longer you can stay outside before your skin starts to burn or change color. Reapply sunscreen once or twice a day. Be aware that most people use less than half the amount of sunscreen they should for maximum protection. Individuals with sensitive skin may want to test their brand of sunscreen on a small portion of skin to see if any negative reactions occur within 24 hours. Remember, sunscreens never provide full protection. It's best to use a combination of these strategies to reduce skin cancer risk. Use UV protective sunglasses that block 100% of UV rays. A UV protective coating can be added to prescription glasses. Also remember that UV rays are more dangerous at higher elevations and when there is no thick cloud cover. 
Sun safety should also be practiced away from the job. You can be a powerful model for your family, particularly your children who are especially vulnerable okay. to UV rays. Okay. Okay, go okay. play. We've discussed the cause, impact, treatment, and prevention of skin cancer. Let's again welcome Dr. Roy Grecken to summarize the key facts about this disease. Oh, that's good. Give her a bonus. <laughs> skin cancer is an epidemic with over one million new cases each year. Outdoor workers are at especially high risk for skin cancer. Prevention is the best remedy. This includes wearing wide brim hats and long clothing whenever possible, seeking shade when available, using sunscreen rated SPF 15 or higher, and wearing UV or ultraviolet protective sunglasses. Remember to go to a dermatologist if you experience any unexpected change on your skin. Hello, my name is Charles Wheeler and I'm a safety specialist for the California Department of Transportation. You've seen the evidence and you've heard testimonies from people just like you. I'd like to take a few moments and challenge each of you to practice sun safety both on and off the job. And I'm not just speaking to you as a safety specialist, but as someone who has been treated for skin cancer. Please, protect the skin you're in. Come back! Come back! Come, come here, back! You gotta get sunscreen and your hat. Get on. Huh? Oh, that is me.